Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. This is our reading for May the 30th, and it's titled, I am God and you are not. Amen. Amen. Um, before we get started, I hope you all enjoyed um, the um, Tell Your Heart to Beat Again. There was actually three versions. There was the video version where he goes, he does the pre-talk before he sings, which I love that story about Mrs. Johnson. And then um, he does it. Then it's in Spanglish where he sings both and then just in Spanish altogether. But I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, that's one of my heart songs. And um, I thank the Lord for um, the ministry that um, it reinforced in me and that the Lord brought me to my place of peace um, before um, I ever heard that song. So I guess in one, say, one way you could say it's kind of like the national, uh, the heart anthem for me. Amen. But I hope you did enjoy it, family. And so now we have our reading for May the 30th. And before we move on, um, we're going to have a word of prayer. Amen. Abba Father, I just want to say thank you and bless your name. I want to thank you, Lord, for your goodness, your grace, your mercy, and all of those things. I want to thank you, Lord, for the joys that you give to us, the surprises, Lord, um, just the things that you do in our lives that causes us to smile and to know that you are ever present in our lives, Lord, through all that we experience. So thank you, Abba Father, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, family. I am God, and you are not. From the little book, Jesus Always. This may sound harsh, but it's actually a blessed dose of reality. In the Garden of Eden, Satan tempted Eve with the very same desire that had caused him to fall from heaven, to be like God, usurping my divine position. Eve succumbed to the temptation, as did Adam. Since that time, the sin nature in people prompts them to act, act as if they are God, trying to control everything, judging me when circumstances don't go as they like. Remembering you are not God helps me, helps you live in freedom. I want to read that again. It says, remembering you are not God helps you live in freedom. You don't take responsibility for matters that are beyond your control, which includes most matters. Amen. If you let go of everything that is not your responsibility, <coughs> you, mm, sorry, you are freed from carrying unnecessary burdens. And you can be more effective in areas where you do have some control. Amen. Moreover, you can pray about all your concerns. Hallelujah. Trusting in my sovereignty. Bring me your prayers with thanksgiving. Present your request to me. Living this way will shield you from anxiety and bless you with peace. Amen. That transcends all understanding. Our scripture lessons are taken from the book of Luke, chapter 18, um, and verse uh, from the New Testament. And then from the Old Testament, we have Genesis 3, 5. And then from the... New Testament, once more, we have Philippians 4, 6, and 7. So we're going to read those before we begin. Let's go here, and we're going to hear. It says, um, 
The first scripture is Luke 10, 18. And he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Luke 10, 18. And Genesis 3, 5 says from the Old Testament, For God knows that the day you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. And then we have Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7, again from the New Testament. And it and counsels and encourages us with these words. Do not be anxious for anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. I hadn't asked for a song yet, but just now, in those last few verses, there's a song by um, Steve Green, and it's titled, Guard Your Heart. So that's what I'm going to be adding to this video, Guard Your Heart. Guard your heart this morning, family, this afternoon, good evening or good night. Because we do have um, an enemy that tries to seep in and destroy us and discourage us or, you know, try to rationalize um, certain things that are just God's business. So, guard your heart, family. This is Miss Norma signing off. Good morning, good afternoon, or good night. I love you, but remember, the greatest love of all is the love of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Have a blessed day, family. Amen.